Hi everybody, let's see what the upcoming weekend has in store for you. It could be about love, finances, events, trips, anything. Please like, share, subscribe and hit the bell to get notified in the future. Let's begin. This spread is for all water signs. Perhaps your story is in here, but there's also a separate spread just for your sign timestamps. Should be in the description box down below. We have the Tower clarified by the Page of Cups, uh, we have the Eight of Wands, then we have the Nine of Cups clarified by the Fool, and uh, we have the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Aries, Sagittarius, pretty much any zodiac sign. Um, I think it's going to be an unexpected or very spontaneous uh, offer or invitation, and I think you're going to go. <laughs> All right. Perhaps you thought you were going to relax this weekend, or you will just uh, do something that uh, you plan to do for a long time. Nope, you're not. <laughs> for most of you, uh, it's going to be an unexpected invitation or unexpected offer. right? Speaking of the unexpected, the tower, the first card that came out, I think this is something that happens unexpectedly. The tower doesn't necessarily have to be something bad, something negative, uh, nothing has to fall apart. What's falling apart actually is uh, if you had plans for this weekend, that's what's falling apart. Because <laughs> uh, the Page of Cups, clarifying the Tower, it's somebody uh, reaching out to you or approaching you. You know, it could be a new person, perhaps you're gonna go grocery shopping and you'll meet this new person, or it could be a friend, it could be someone, someone you already know. The Page of Cups is that invitation. Right, the Eight of Wands, the next card, or you're going somewhere, for sure. All right, the Eight of Wands uh, is one of the fastest cards in the deck. Uh, it is a card of back and forth communication, but I think in this case, uh, the Eight of Wands is you literally going somewhere. You could be going, I don't know, a mile away from where you live, <laughs> could be a thousand miles. Um, you can let me know in the comments down below. Also, the Eight of Wands could be a Cupid's Arrows card, so it could be. Uh, you falling in love and they're falling in love with you as well. Then we have the Nine of Cups clarified by the Fool. The Nine of Cups is a card of a personal satisfaction and fulfillment. It's also a card of a wish granted. Um, and uh, in some tarot decks the Nine of Cups uh, looks like there's people standing around or sitting at a table and celebrating. So you could be going to some kind of an event or a party or a gathering of some sort, a concert or show someone's birthday, if you are a Cancer, it could be your birthday. <laughs> Perhaps you didn't want to uh, celebrate your birthday, but somebody could throw you a surprise birthday party. But, um, you know, you're still going somewhere. The full clarifying the Nine of Cups, um, it's uh, it could be an Aries you're dealing with, but the full is a card of, yeah, let's do it, let's go for it. It's a card of taking a leap of faith and just, uh, you know, going. The Will of Fortune on the bottom of the deck, um, it's uh, another travel card, just like the Eight of Wands, and at the same time, it's a card of a cycle, right? If uh, you're falling in love with somebody, or they're falling in love with you, or both of you are falling in love with each other, it's a cycle, starting between the two of you, all right? Um, yeah, for some of you, you know, the Wheel of Fortune sometimes comes through as a, as, as a repeat of something. Perhaps you've already done this in the past, right? Or you've done, you've done something like this in the past. For some of you. So overall, yeah, prepare yourself for um, an unexpected invitation. All right? Cool. Cancer. Um, we have uh, the Knight of Pentacles, uh, the Seven of Pentacles, clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. Uh, we have uh, the Page of Swords, and we have you, <laughs> the Queen of Cups, <laughs> on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We got a lot of Pentacles on the table. All right? I think it, this spread has something to do with work, business, and finances, with the way you make your money. Okay, or perhaps uh, real estate. Perhaps you were waiting for a bit uh, for like a loan to get approved, so you could purchase uh, a home or property in general. But for most of you, I think this is money coming your way, or it's a job offer, it's a business adventure offer, it's a promotion, it's a race, what have you. Right? It's here. It is here. <laughs> okay. Um, um, you see how the Knight of Pentacles, uh, the first card I came out is holding up a pentacle, right? That's exactly the pentacle we see in the Ace of Pentacles, clarifying the Seven of Pentacles. It's like we're zooming in on that pentacle. Again, money, uh, job offer, what have you. The Seven of Pentacles is a card of waiting, so this is what you've been waiting or anticipating or hope for. Um, or perhaps you've already put in a lot of work into something and you're waiting for it to come to fruition, to start uh, paying you back, to start... Uh, you know, giving you dividends or something like that. So it's here. 
it is here. The Page of Swords right next to the deck. Um, if this is a job offer and you currently already have a job offer, then the Page of Swords is your resignation letter. All right, um, but it's also a card of a message, not just you writing someone a message, but uh, a message could, that could be coming towards you. Okay, so it could be an email, a letter, a phone call, what have you. All right, cool. Scorpio, uh, we have uh, the Two of Cups, clarified by the Sun. We have the Knight of Cups, we have Death, and we have the Lovers on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a fellow water sign, Cancer, another Scorpio or Pisces. We also have Leo and Gemini on the table. You know what, Scorpio, I think this is the most loving, the most lovey-dovey <laughs> spread out of all uh, zodiac signs. And I'm doing water signs last, so there is only Pisces left. All right, I don't know how Pisces is going to go, but so far I think this is the most loving spread out of all uh, zodiac signs, right? And here's why I think so. The lovers on the bottom of the deck could be a card of a choice, it could be a card of a Gemini, you could be dealing with a Gemini, but um, at the same time, <clears throat> I believe, I personally believe the lovers is the best card when it comes to the actual love connection between two people. It's a card of a soulmate connection, it's a card of a twin flame connection, if you believe in twin flames, and the lovers could simply be the lover of your life. Also, in my opinion, the only other card that comes close to the lovers in terms of the actual love connection between two people is the Two of Cups. And the very first card that came out is the Two of Cups. <laughs> so you got two of them, right? So this person is at least your soulmate, right? Because the Two of Cups is also a soulmate card. It's a card of unconditional love. It's a card of when two people feel the same way towards one another, right? Um, the Two of Cups is classified by the Sun. You could be dealing with a Leo or somebody with Leo in their chart, but the Sun also is the happiest card in the deck. Plain and simple, it's the happiest card in the deck. With the sun, we always feel loved, successful, we always feel joyful, we always feel on top of the world. The Knight of Cups in the middle could be a fellow water sign coming towards you, right? Uh, Cancer, another Scorpio or Pisces, but the Knight of Cups is the most romantic, the most loving knight out of all four knights, all right? Um, and uh, this knight is often referred to as, uh, you know, Prince Charming or uh, Knight in a Shining Armor. All right, and death right next to the deck, that's your major kind of card, Scorpio. That's you, unless you're dealing with another Scorpio, right? So it's always a good sign to have your own major kind of card in your own reading, always is. So yeah, there's just so much love, and both of you feel the same way towards one another. And again, this person is at least your soulmate, and they could turn out to be the love of your life. Congratulations. Pisces. Um, we have the Moon, clarified by the Empress. We have the Ace of Swords, clarified by the Two of Cups. We have Strength, clarified by the Hierophant. And we also have uh, the Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with um, Libra, Taurus, um, Leo, perhaps even another Pisces. Um, or whatever your person's zodiac sign is. For some of you, this is not a new person, right? Uh, for some of you, this is somebody who is going to pop the question. Yep, Pisces, that's what's happening. Somebody could be proposing to you or, um, you know, wondering if you'd like to move in together <laughs> or take it to the next level, whatever that level is going to be for you. If this, is just hap if this just happens to be a brand new person, this person will see you as their future spouse right away, from the get-go, out the door, right? They will see you as their future spouse right away, okay? Um, yeah, uh, the f the moon, the first card I came out, that is your major arcana card, Pisces. It was the first card I came out, and it's always a good sign to have your own major arcana card in your own reading. Always is. As I was clarifying the moon, I simply asked how will Pisces feel about what's going on, and the Empress showed up. Oh my, you will, I don't know if you ever felt this good in your life. <laughs> the Empress is a, is a fantastic card to have. That's how you will feel, right? Um, the Empress often comes through as a wife or a significant other figure or a future wife or a future significant other figure. The Empress is somebody who is being loved, taken care of, cherished, being put up on a pedestal, right? That's how you will feel about this, right? The best you've ever felt, all right? The Ace of Swords, clarified by the Two of Cups, yep, somebody is going to be very straightforward with you. The, with the Ace of Swords, you know, it's a very straightforward, very direct conversation. And um, this conversation will be about um, either you getting the show on the road, 
Uh, if this is a brand new person, they may tell you they may tell you straight up that uh, they believe you are the one. It could be it could have been love at first sight. But again, for those of you who are already uh, seeing somebody, uh, they could be again either popping the question or you know asking if you'd like to take it to the next level. And I think the answer is going to be yes, because <laughs> the Ace of Swords also uh, comes through as a card of a yes. You can say whatever you want, but uh, I think it's a yes. The Two of Cups clarifying uh, the Ace of Swords. Uh, there's two people in the Two of Cups. It's a card of a soulmate connection. You know, it's a card of unconditional love. Then we have Strength clarified by Harfun. Strength could be a Leo you're dealing with. Strength, one of the interpretations of the Strength card is, is courage and uh, loyalty. All right. For some of you, if this is a brand new person, perhaps uh, they had to have courage <laughs> to to tell you what they're about to tell you. But uh, if it's somebody whom you're already with, uh, yeah, loyalty. This person will be loyal to you. All right. The Hierophant clarifying that could be a Taurus you're dealing with, but the Hierophant is a card of something traditional like a committed relationship or marriage. It's also a very spiritual card. And uh, the Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck, definitely a commitment to marriage card. That card is often referred to as the happily ever after card. It's a family card. It's one of the best cards when it comes to emotionally fulfilling relationships or marriages. So yeah, Pisces, no matter how you slice it or dice it, I think you definitely have a commitment coming up. <laughs> All right, congratulations. And there you have it. I hope my readings resonated with you. And if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.